All right, so in this problem, we are asked to convert the decimal into fraction form. So we have 7.875. We know that this 7 is going to be the whole number of our fraction. And now let's see what this decimal is going to look like as a fraction. So let's take 875. And we know that this 8 is part of the tens place. We know that this 7 is part of the 100th place. And this 5 is part of the 1,000th place. Meaning that we can write this decimal as 875 all over 1,000. Alright, so now this is our fraction, but we do have to simplify it. And we can simplify it by dividing the numerator and denominator by 25. Now it might be a little tough to divide right away this 875 by 25. So let's break up this, eight, this big number. So we can break up 875 by dividing it, splitting it up into 500 plus 250 plus 125. And we'll divide that by 25. And we'll also keep our denominator of 1,000 divided by 25. Now, this method is called the distributive property because we're able to take this 25 and divide each number in the parentheses. So let's begin. 500 divided by 25 will give us 20. 250 divided by 25 will give us 10. And 125 divided by 25 will give us 5. So this will be our numerator, and our denominator will be 1,000 divided by 25, and that will give us 40. All right, so now let's simplify our fraction even more. We have 20 plus 10 plus 5, which is 35, all over 40. And now we have one more little simplification to do. We'll do this by dividing by 5. And 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 40 divided by 5 is 8. So let's take our two numbers together, and now we have 7 and 7 eighths as our final answer.